give me that! Don't touch me, you asshole! Well, is going to starve to death just because you bought a cheaper, more efficient Maibatsu. Without gross symbols of excess, what will Americans have to look up to? Our great industries are threatened. Cars, pornography, armaments, and they need your help. So the next time you buy a car, a piece of adult literature, or a missile defense system, make sure you do the American thing. Old Max, we go everywhere together. Right, boy? At Pet Stuffers, we know there's nothing like a relationship between a man and his dog. Sometimes you just can't let go. Max? You didn't eat your food. That's the second week in a row. someone with a lot to say for herself. A woman who pretended to be a man and then wrote a book about it. I haven't read it, but I'm going to pretend I did. She's professor of anthrosociology and women's studies at the University of Vice City. And her name is sell my book. Okay. Now it says here you wanted to be a man so much, you dressed up like one. Well, that's a load of crap, my dear. More misogynistic propaganda. I hate men. Can't bear them. I think they're a complete waste of time and space, quite frankly, and a disaster for the planet. Me too. I just got dumped. Oh, well, it is unfortunate you measure your self-worth in relation to a man, my dear. Look at you. You could be an attractive girl if you did some physical labor, cut your hair short, grew out your body hair, and wore boots, for example. You mustn't get sucked into their heteropatriarchy. But I like... I'll try to keep it simple. I've always been fascinated with the world of men. Revolted, of course, but fascinated. Now, as an academic, I can get paid to write a book about pretty much anything, as long as I give it a complicated title. Are you with me, gorgeous? Ooh, I think so. Good, then hold my hand, it helps me think. No! Okay, okay, sorry, don't be so weird. God, everywhere I go, just like the university won't let me display my beauty.
Steady! 